Okay, uh, Mastodon, signing up for an account. Find your perfect community. Choosing a website. You have to choose a website to sign up on, like you would choose an email provider or a World of Warcraft realm for your new character. The website will be your service provider, hosting your account, your profile, and your home feed. You can browse a list of servers by categories and languages on joinmastodon.org. Understanding a website's policies. Before you sign up for a service, it is important to understand its policies and terms of use. A Mastodon website will usually have its policies listed on the forward slash about forward slash more page, which can be found by clicking learn more on the landing page while not logged in to that website. Sign up modes. Mastodon allows website administrators to set one of three different sign up modes open sign ups, invites, and approval mode. Open sign up. Some websites may allow you to register immediately. Simply fill out the registration with your username, email address, and password, and you can start using your account. Server invites. Some websites disable the registration form and instead require invite links to be generated and shared in order to allow people to register. Approval-based registration. Some websites allow you to fill out a registration form, but with an additional form entry for mentioning why you want to join that website. Once you submit the form, your account must be approved by a moderator before you can start using it. Your username and your domain. Mastodon usernames actually consist of two parts the local username, e.g. Alice, and the domain of the website, e.g. example.com. Just like an email address, for convenience sake, Mastodon allows you to skip the second part when addressing people on the same server as you, but you have to keep in mind when sharing your username with other people. You need to include the domain or they won't be able to find you as easily. So some examples. I'm at Alice on Mastodon. That's wrong. I'm, and then the at Alice at example.com on Mastodon is correct. Or I'm https double dot forward slash forward slash example.com forward slash at Alice on Mastodon. That's probably the web address. And that's correct. So these are two correct ways to do it. The search form in Mastodon will find people either with the above address form or the link to the person's profile. So you can share that instead if you prefer. The same username can be registered on different servers. There is no way to claim all of them ahead of time. Just like with email, you should not expect Alice at Outlook.com to be the same person as Alice at Gmail.com or Alice at Yahoo.com. Okay, after you sign up for an account, you set up your profile. Setting up your profile. Get started with your new account. Your appearance. Profile card showing display name, avatar, and header. You can change how your profile appears to others by navigating to Settings, Profile, Appearance. Display name. 
Your display name is shown to other users before your address. You can set a display name up to 30 characters by default. Bio. Your bio is a short description of yourself that is displayed as a note on your profile. You can set a bio of up to 500 characters by default. Avatar. Your avatar is an icon that is displayed next to your posts and is part of your visual identity. You can upload an avatar as a PNG, GIF, or JPG image up to 2 megabytes in size. This image will be downscaled to 400 by 400. Header. Your header is a banner image shown at the top of your profile, as well as in profile cards used in follow lists and account directories. You can upload a header as a PNG, GIF, or JPG image up to 2 megabytes in size. This image will be downscaled to 1500 by 500. Profile flags. You can set certain flags on your profile to let others know how you use Mastodon. Mm. Locked account. By locking your account, two things will happen. New followers will not be automatically accepted, but will instead require you to manually approve them. A lock icon will be shown to others to let them know that their follow will not be immediately accepted. Bot account. Enabling the bot flag will add a bot icon to your profile. This icon will let others know that your profile may perform automated actions or might not be monitored by a human. Other software may choose to treat bot profiles differently, but Mastodon currently treats the bot flag as a visual indication only. Profile Directory Opting in to be listed on the profile directory will make your profile discoverable through a feature that allows browsing through profiles. Profile Metadata Profile Metadata is a way to add extra information to your profile that is easy to skim. You have four rows where you can define the label and the value. For example, label age, content, 20, oh, label, content, age, 25, country, Germany, pronouns, he, him, website, example.com. It's completely up to you what you put there. The content can contain mentions, hashtags, custom emojis, and links. Link verification. Document-based verification and blue ticks are not possible without a central authority. However, Mastodon can cross-reference the links you put on your profile to prove that you are the real owner of those links. In case one of those links is your personal homepage that is known and trusted, it can serve as the next best thing to identity verification. If you put a link in your profile metadata, Mastodon checks if the linked page links back to your Mastodon profile. If so, you get a verification check mark next to that link, since you are confirmed as the owner. Behind the scenes, Mastodon checks for the REL equals quote ME quote, a tribute on the link back. Likewise, Mastodon puts REL equals quote ME quote on the links within profile metadata. Because Mastodon can be self-hosted, there is no better way to verify your identity than to host Mastodon on your own, own domain, which people already trust.